Loot loot to all my fems and rems. It is Bison back with another video on, of course, remnants. What else at this point? I keep trying to make videos about other things, but y'all just keep pulling me back in because there's so much content to go over. And today is no different. We just got a new UI UX update. Uh, so user interface, user experience for those who don't know. It's awesome. It's fantastic. If you own anything more than a single rem, you're in luck because this thing makes it so much easier to manage everything. Uh, it does take a little bit of time as far as startup time. If you haven't jumped in yet, I would encourage you to do so and just set aside an hour or two uh, to build out the proper loadouts for all of your REMs and FEMs because it is so much easier. It costs nothing now, which is fantastic to switch items between. Uh, it just is so much smoother, man. It is awesome to work with and we're going to jump in a little bit and show you how to work this ui because i saw a lot of people having issues with it in the discord i did too i had to mess around with it a little bit but nonetheless let's dive right in to today's video so the first thing you'll notice is that the locksmith is gone fuck him fuck the locksmith i am so excited go fuck yourself locksmith uh that is music to my ears he is gone we now have the bank, which is in a, a more uh, noticeable tone. All of the, the print is much more noticeable, has some icons with it as well. If you scroll down, you will see all of our places to loot. Uh, the mine has been removed for the time being, but the mine and Blackwood Forest are going to be over on the right here. And we will have more resource runs in the future. If you haven't seen all what's to come, in remnants go ahead and check out this video this eye in the sky for you right here uh, it goes over the light paper and it's really good to know what is to come how to position yourself and we'll talk a little bit about strategy i will actually be on today's spaces uh going over strategies of current players what we're doing right now and how we're preparing ourselves for the upcoming updates don't miss that i will go ahead and i don't know if i'm going to link it down in the description below but if you check out the remnants uh, Twitter, which I will definitely link down below. They will have a space that has been recorded. I would encourage you to listen to that. I'll be going over some of my thoughts as well as some of the other veteran players as well. Nonetheless, we are now almost entirely replaced by this wonderful little toolbar in the bottom left. So this is our one-stop shop for everything we need to do. Now, if you go down here, I would go ahead and bring up the menu go ahead and hit that pin button so it stays up because once you send somebody out on a loot trip it drops back down uh interesting ui choice i think it actually is it makes sense on mobile uh but i wish it default just opened and stayed and i wish you could untoggle that so just you know a little bit of preference there but what do i know this guy is glitched right now uh you guys might have the same issue so we'll be talking a little bit today about crafting some stuff so I'm glad he's still here and can kind of be our test dummy but yeah i i only have one equipment slot uh it is because some weird stuff happened when i tried to equip a, a backpack from the bank so when you first log in if you haven't already if you're still wondering where the hell all your items are and stuff they're in the bank and what you're gonna do is you're going to go ahead and hit collect everything will be free right now to collect and everything will go into your mailbox. Your mailbox is in the top right. So we're gonna hit this little icon in the top right. We are going to see it has a nice little description of each of our items. We are going to drag that into his inventory first before you can even equip it or anything like that. Go ahead and equip it into your inventory and then place it in the corresponding spot. So equipment is stuff you actually use that increases your loot chance and all that good stuff. And then utility is stuff like backpacks, access items, all that. From there, you can equip all your, your stuff and then we can send our guy out onto a loot trip. And once we're ready to do that, we will go ahead and click loot. We will pick the place we wanna go. If I can't go somewhere, like for instance, I don't have bolt cutters on this guy, I can't get a military base. It's a really simple UI. I love the fact that it's so clean, it's so smooth. And the fact that we're off chain now, you will see how much faster it is to craft. So if you were crafting before, uh, it took forever. I can no longer press C, which is kind of annoying. I really like doing that on a computer, but I can go over to the blacksmith who is now the locksmith purveyor. I'm not sure if the guy is just running out some space from him, 
Still hate it, but that means that stamina is coming soon, and that's music to my ears. Nonetheless, it's a little bit different to craft, so pay close attention. Uh, this was kind of tripping me up for a little bit, but for instance, I want to craft T3 walkie talkies. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to drag both of the required items into the slots. You have to drag them. I, I, I wish you can click it um, and it just go in itself, but you can't and you can't. Uh, you just have to exit out if you did something wrong. I don't even know if it'll let you equip anything if it's the wrong item, but nonetheless, we hit craft 250 and boom look at how fast it was that was insanely fast now here's the trick if i want to craft something else i first have to take out what i crafted from my mailbox so i'm going to drag this actually i'll let you see what happens if i try to craft before i take that out so i want to craft some more walkies i hit craft and you will get this error in the bottom right that says cannot craft while crafting output slot is full uh, right now there's only one output slot i don't know if that'll change in the future or anything like that but for now make sure that when you craft you go ahead and get your crafted item bring it back into the inventory and voila you can now craft again we're going to craft a t2 walkie bring it into our inventory and then i want to make another t3 so i'm going to go ahead and do that and again, we just see how fast this is. So, I mean, props to the team. I love the fact that they were willing to make it not completely on chain. I'm I'm thrilled about that, actually. I don't think everything needs to be 100% blockchain. I think that having autonomy over your assets is a good thing. And if they can speed up the UI a little bit, the user experience, make it a little bit cleaner, then go for it if it makes sense don't do it on chain and eventually i think solana will progress enough that we can bring all of this back on chain and that's great that's exactly what we want so that's it for inventory management now again if you have too much stuff in your inventory and i also don't know if they ever plan to stack these ever again so like since i have two i really wish they could stack and not take up inventory space however um you know they they don't they used to in the last update which is kind of confusing why they don't anymore i think they want you to be more active about managing your inventory uh which is fine that's that's okay but i i really do wish they would stack more so especially as we continue to get more items and whatnot just some criticism to give back but I, that is so few and far between this is the most complete game on solana and look at that just so quick on crafting so that's it for crafting. That's it for inventory management. When you're ready to equip stuff, go ahead and put it in the equipment slot. You will now see all of your stacked benefits. Uh, unfortunately, this guy can only equip one item right now. I'm still getting it fixed by the team. I, I know this has been a common problem. So if you're having it, go ahead and open up a ticket or message Woody on Discord directly. But uh, pretty simple stuff. Let's go ahead and check out our claim. So we do have two people back from Rug Zone. Uh, let's see if they pull anything. No, nine tokens, that's par for the course. 10, wow, doing great. So yeah, just another rug zone experience. Uh, but nonetheless, you can see they're back at camp now. We can go back, hit loot, run them back at radiation zone on both of them. Simple as that, we now see uh, everybody's coming back from looting. I really, I wish this was not like a pie thing and if it is a pie I like that you know at, at a quick glance we see who's coming back sooner but um, or taking more time I should say but I wish they had a timer underneath this pie so again this is just a little stuff I'm sure they will get around to this they really just want to push this out sooner so we can do off-chain transactions and make things a lot easier for people who have more than one rem and they did they did exactly that so Again, these are just minor changes that I would suggest, but we can see on the looting side that we have a kind of a pie chart of, of how fast they're going. So the more black it is, uh, the more consumed the time is away, the faster they are coming back. I don't know what the bar is underneath the rem and fem. That's interesting. It's probably their stamina bar when they're ready to switch to a stamina system. Great. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and drop this down 
and you can see here this is when they show you okay here's your next claim so this is this is good at a high level I can see real quickly okay the next claim is in 50 minutes that's when I need to be back at my computer or at my phone and go ahead and pick up some loot so I think that about covers it if you want any camp out of your bank you need to go ahead and withdraw it from there um, I'm leaving a bunch of stuff in the bank right now it'll cost zero but make sure you pay attention to the discord eventually it will cost camp to get stuff out of the bank so make sure you do that that about does it for me on this video I hope you guys love the update because it is phenomenal to me I hope it's the same for you I hope it treats you right and I know the team will continue to deliver amazing quality amazing content this is the most complete game on Solana right now and it's still incredibly undervalued so get in while you can not financial advice do your own research but i you've seen my videos i have a bajillion on these have a great day i'll see you in the next video